Hey everybody, Leanne here, and today I'm just going to show you how to use tape measurement to measure it yourself. It's very important that you do this and not only just hop on the scale, because when you just hop on the scale, you're not going to get a really good idea of how your body is shaping itself. A lot of the times you can actually get skinnier and gain weight because you're putting on muscle. So let's hop right to it. That's another time for me to describe all of that. Um, you're going to start with your right arm and then you're going to go to your left. If you want to grab a friend to help you, you totally can. If not, you can also just do it by yourself. I just have a very standard tape measure here. You can buy it at any craft store or you can actually purchase one on your teambeachbody.com account. So I'm going, to, I'm going to do it in inches. You can do it in centimeters if you wanted to. Um, but so your right arm, what you're going to do is you're going to take the midpoint of your elbow. This is why it's kind of easier if you have somebody to do, to do it with you. Or you can take the inside of your arm. That might be easier if you're by yourself. I'm going to do about five inches. But I'm going to make a note of that on my sheet that I'm doing it at five inches. The reason I'm doing this is because the arm is definitely one of those spots. All I'm going to do is turn the tape measure at five inches. Use my face to help me out. <laughs> And boom, there's my measurement. 12 and 3 quarters is my right arm. I'm going to do that again on my left arm because they could be different. You can get it down to the quarter of an inch. That would be my recommendation for you um, because a quarter of an inch could make a huge difference in the way that you look and the way that you feel. Okay, next we're going to do the chest. You're going to take the measurement around you. And the, I guess the best way to, to look at this measurement is to go across the nipples. That's where, that's where your goal is. And all right, I'm right there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna record that down. Make sure you also take a note of what kind of if you're a female, what kind of bra you're wearing. Uh, take a note of that so that you can wear the same one when you go to take your measurements again. It's also very very important because if you're wearing a push-up bra or some sort of regular supportive bra versus a sports bra and it doesn't give you a lot of support, those measurements are going to be affected, but not consistent. So make sure you take note of that as well. Now, I want to get down to the waist. The waist is where usually where a lot of people do this incorrectly. They measure it at the smallest point of their, their midsection. However, if you have a more boxy shape, which is totally fine, that could be very difficult to find sometimes. So it's up to you, but just make sure you take a note and you are consistent. You can do it at that, the skinniest point of your waist. However, if you are more boxy shaped or you can't really find that point or you don't think you can be as consistent, use your belly button as a measurement. So my belly button's right here. I'm gonna go right across my belly button and that's where I'm going to measure. Next are the hips. The hips are, is where a belt would lay. So that's where you wanna go down to, down to where a belt would lay. Okay, next I'm gonna go over the thighs. Same thing you did up here on your arm, but you're gonna start from the middle of your knee. So you're gonna find the middle of your knee and I would go up about halfway. You can just kind of use um, use your best judgment to figure out what's halfway. For me, it's about eight or nine inches. I'm gonna go with nine, put my finger down, turn it, and you wanna make sure that your body is, this is where a friend would really come in, so you could just stand up nice and straight and they could do the measurement. But if you're doing it by yourself, that's fine. Just take a note of how you did it. So I'm bending over a little bit. That's going to totally change how it comes out, turning at nine, wrapping it around. Very cool, I have my measurements. So that are the those are the basic measurements that you wanna take. However, if you do wanna take some other measurements, I know some of my ladies in the group, um, they wanna measure their booty, they want a bigger booty. So you can also measure that point. Just set a standard for yourself and make sure you take a note so you are consistent. I don't know how much else to stress that. If you have any more questions, just leave me a comment in the group and I look forward to seeing your progress.